Isaac loves his car. Hi, this is Mama Four Boys, and tonight we're going to make some banana nut bread. Um, we have a, five bananas that are overripe, and I don't want to throw them out, so I'm going to make banana nut bread out of them. Um, the recipe calls for three, and I'm doubling it, but I only have five bananas, and I'm, so... Um, it should work out though. So I'm going to lightly beat these eggs. How many eggs were there? There's two eggs in the recipe. I'm using four because like I said, I'm doubling it. Okay. Three bananas, a half a cup of butter, three-fourths granulated sugar, two large eggs, one and a half cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of a vanilla extract and one cup of walnuts and a half a cup of raisins. I'm going to add my baking soda to my flour, get that out, out the road, and then I'm going to start mashing up my bananas. Um, even if they're all black, you can, can still use them. And if you don't have any ripe bananas, you can stick them in the microwave for a uh, peel them and stick them in the microwave for a minute at a time until they get soft and those will work just fine for this recipe. So I'm going to peel these bananas and we'll be right back. So now it's, it's Rachel, I'm back and now I'm going to mash my bananas until they're the consistency of baby food. This is an exact science. Just do your best, because we're still going to be mixing some more stuff in here, so they'll get mixed as we're doing other things. So I am going to come in here with a hand mixer and mix some of my ingredients in here. Or maybe I won't. Now we're going to add here. I don't need this right now. Now we're going to add um, the eggs and the sugar. And we're going to put you on pause for a second because I'm going to mix this in, and I need to get a I need to get a um, spatula. Okay, this is Rachel, and I'm back. This is um, this is. A half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm using a full teaspoon because I'm doubling my recipe. Um, and this is one teaspoon of salt. It's supposed to be half a teaspoon. We're going to mix these all up. And you need two, one stick of softened butter if you're only making one batch. And now I'm going to come in with the hand mixer and the, um, what is it? Is it a hand mixer, the, what, the hand mixer? Okay, and now I'm going to blend in my butter. My butter wasn't as soft as I like it to be, so it may take a few more seconds to blend it in, but that's okay. Sorry for the noise in my nails, I have to do them. But I have a little guy here. And I don't always get as much time as I think I might get. Is that fun? Okay, and now we're gonna fold in our flour. Oh, I'm going to put the spatula. So, just 
Now I'm going to add in my flour. I'm going to blend it in. You don't want to mix your flour too much. Um, you want to gently um, fold it in because you don't want it to, to be a real chewy bread. You don't want to activate the gluten in the flour. I used all-purpose flour, which doesn't have as much gluten as mm. as um, bread flour. But it does, if you work it too much, it will it will be a chewy bread. Mm -hmm. And you can't really make bread unless you make a little bit of a mess. This is certainly not the Food Network. It's okay, honey. Somebody's grabbing the camera. You gonna go put him in his walker? Yeah. We'll be right back. So. Okay, I have this all mixed up. And now I'm gonna add um, a couple of walnuts, chopped walnuts. And I am adding two cups. Like I said, I'm doubling the recipe. And it said for um, a half a cup of raisins, but I don't have any, so I'm going to add white chocolate chips. So I didn't have a whole cup of white chocolate, so I added some milk chocolate as well. Um, if you don't like that, you could, you could always just admit anything if you're somebody's allergic to nuts, you don't have to add them. We're going to butter and flour um, our pan, and we'll be right back. Two. Okay, we're going to add the um, the batter to our 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 pan, and we'll smooth it out a bit. Then I'm going to stick it in the oven on 350 degrees for 55 to 60 minutes until you can stick a fork in it and, and it comes out clean or a, a toothpick. And we've lightly buttered and, and floured our baking pan. Sorry if I forgot to mention that. My hands are clean. I just washed them. I just need my nail polish removed, so I'll get to that. And we'll be back when it's done. Two. Hi, this is Mom of Four Boys, and I am going to make tostadas tonight. Um, and I'm adding leftover ground beef that we already had in the freezer. I'm going to cook that down. I'm trying to um, get our pantry and our freezer empty because... We are trying to redo our pantry. We're making it, my husband's in the process of making a video of that. And I think it would just help if we have less stuff to put back in there. So I'm going to add refried beans, a can of refried beans. Um, some of this meat's already seasoned taco meat, but I'm going to add some more taco seasoning to it. This is about a pound and a half. Mm. I'll call that good for that can. And I'm going to add a package of sasson. I like adding that to the taco dishes. And Of oops, um, diced tomatoes with green chilies, and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of um, taco seasoning to that, and I'm going to I'm going to heat this up, and it's going to take a little bit because the one some of the meat's frozen, so we'll be back. Two. 
This this is Rachel again with Mama Four Boys. I'm gonna take these tostadas. I got them from Aldi's. I'm gonna find the non broken ones. Just looks like these ones got sat in on the car. But that's okay. And we're gonna put them in the pan. And you can still eat them if they're good. Or you can make tort nachos. And I'm gonna put a scoop of this stuff, this um, meat mixture on here. And I like to put a piece of um, parchment paper on my pan. And that way when you wanna clean up, it, you just throw out the parchment paper. And you're all done with that clean up. So, I'm just going to put a scoop of this on each one, spread it out a little bit, and, um, and take our Mexican, Mexican cheese and add a dollop to each one. I'm going to bake these in the oven for 15 minutes and 350 degrees. And we'll be back when we're done. Okay, welcome back. We got our tostadas out and I uh, have a little lettuce on, some nacho cheese, some sour cream, and uh, then a little extra salad with our, our uh, creamy Italian dressing. And I'm going to give it a taste test right now. Mm. That's better than a restaurant. Mmm. Everything it tastes good. Mm. Mm. I know I'm messy. Just the perfect right, perfect amount of everything. The spices are great. The tostada is great. Um, the lettuce, everything gives it a little crunch, and it's very tasty. I give it two thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, and share, uh, and we hope that this is a great idea for your family. Uh, it's going to be very filling, and I can't wait to eat the rest of it. God bless, and enjoy. All right, we're back. We're going to take our banana bread out. It smells good. Looks like it's got a nice crust on it. And we are going to check it here to see if it comes out clean, which it did. So that should mean that it's done. So uh, we will cut this when it cools in a little bit and we'll come back and have a taste test. I worked it to it again. Okay, our banana bread looks like it's done. We're gonna take it out and test it. It's got a nice crust on it. I'm going to check it with a toothpick in the center and see if the toothpick comes out clean, which it did. Uh, so I'm assuming that it's done. So we'll let that cool for a little bit and then we'll cut it and I'll uh, have a slice of it and we'll give it a taste test. Be right back. Okay, we're back here. We've got our banana bread is done. It's uh, very, very moist. And I like butter on pumpkin bread and I like it on banana bread and nut bread, all the different breads like that. I just like butter on a lot of things, but real butter, not margarine or anything. And so I'm going to put a little butter on it because it's still warm. And I'm going to give it a taste because I love this stuff. Lots of butter on it there. Just makes it so creamy. Mmm. Mmm. Every time we're out at a restaurant and they offer this, we always get this uh, instead of toast or anything we can. And, uh, and this is as good as anything I've ever had at any of the restaurants we eat at. Well, this is a uh, it's very, very uh, flaky and moist. So 100% hit. Very, very good. I'm going to finish the rest of it. And uh, please like subscribe and share uh, our channel and I hope that you'll make this for your family. It really turned out good. Thanks and God bless.